All Recipes member Clark Hamblin tells us that this recipe for Clark's quiche is excellent. Served for breakfast with fruit or at lunch or dinner time with a salad, this recipe makes two nine-inch pies. Start this dish by preheating your oven to 375 degrees. Next, cook half a pound of thick sliced bacon in a deep, heavy skillet over medium-high heat until the slices are evenly browned. Drain the bacon on paper towels. Then crumble or rough chop it and set it aside. Next, chop one onion. Finally, chop half a pound of mushrooms. And dice enough smoked ham to make two cups. Ahead of time, cook a 10 ounce package of frozen chopped spinach according to the instructions on the package and thoroughly drain out the water. Let the spinach cool. In a medium bowl, add eight ounces of shredded cheddar cheese, eight ounces of shredded Monterey Jack cheese, and four ounces of grated Parmesan cheese. Stir to combine these cheeses together. Now, we go to the stove top and heat two tablespoons of olive oil in a medium skillet over medium heat. Add the onions and saute them until they're soft and translucent, about three minutes. Add in the mushrooms and cook them until they're soft, about two minutes. Add in the diced ham. And the bacon. Remove the skillet from the heat. Now add the spinach into a large bowl, along with an eight ounce container of sour cream and salt to taste and pepper to taste. Mix it well. Place two unbaked nine inch pie crusts onto a baking sheet. Spoon half of the spinach mixture into each pie shell. Then, layer each pie with equal amounts of the bacon, ham, mushrooms, and onion mixture. Sprinkle each pie equally with the cheeses. Next, we can crack eight eggs into a separate bowl. Whisk them. Add in one and a half cups of half and half. One tablespoon of dried parsley. And then salt to taste. And pepper to taste. Pour this egg mixture evenly into the two pie shells over the cheese. Bake the quiches on the middle shelf of your preheated oven for 40 minutes or until the top is puffed in golden brown. Remove them from the oven and let them stand for at least five to 10 minutes. All Recipes member Clark also tells us that Clark's quiche microwaves well the next day if you have any leftovers. Thanks, Clark.